folks, we're getting ready for the B mods. Here's your front rows. We got Richard Lane, Aaron Morant, Trevor Hunt, Jacob Ebert, Gene Claxton, and Jake Richards. Looks like Aaron Moran is going to jump out to the early lead here. The 99, Trevor Hunt in that second place, and Jacob Eber is in third with the 99. I believe that's Richard Lane there in that fourth spot. Ebert gets into the side. Meanwhile, Aaron Moran has opened up about a 10-car length lead already here. We probably are completing, I believe, lap number four. Check up on that. I think that second place is Richard Lane. Jacob Eber now looks to the inside of Richard Lane. In the meantime, Aaron Moran continues to open up a lead now to about 12 to 15 car lengths as he's now starting to catch up with some of the back runners. And he's got one that spins out right there beside him. Lane has to dodge him. Gene Claxton now up into that fourth spot. I believe that's Trevor Hunt in fifth in the white 99. And we have a yellow flag on the speedway as we've got one turned around down here. Right in turn two. We're going to be joined by Don Kitcraft, and all I can say is, Don, do you believe that this is the end of the racing season here in Kansas City? No, honestly, I can't believe this is the end of the racing season, but like they say, all good things come to an end. I think a lot of people are ready to put the cars in the trailer, uh, do some family things, Thanksgiving and Christmas, and Enjoy some family time together. Uh, as a fan myself, it's it's hard to believe it's the last night. You know, it's kind of been a pleasant surprise, even though I haven't made very many of them. But Valley running this October Fast or whatever it is that they call it out here for the month of October, man, they've had some terrific car counts. Uh, a lot of good racers and cars showing up here. I think this B Mod uh, race right here is a good example of that. Where we got Aaron Moran up in the front. But I saw Don Mars in a car earlier. I think it's the eight, which is um, I'm trying to remember his name, and I can't think of it. T Terry Bruner's Terry car. Bruner's car. It looks like. But uh, man, it's really been a great deal out here. Uh, Dennis Shroud, you have to congratulate him for uh, putting something like this on for the racers here. Really, the only track in the Kansas City area that's been running here this fall. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I've came out here all five nights, and uh, it's been really some good racing. The track's been different here and there, but uh, I've really enjoyed it myself. Everybody should get a chance to come out next year when they do this. Here we go, Dan, let's go green. And we're underway. Looks like Aaron Morant, your leader once again. Pretty sure. <laughs> That's Richard Lane in the 99L. And we've got another yellow flag, and it's the same car spun out down here in turn number two. It's going to take them just a minute to line them up. We'll be right back here in just a little bit. Your lineup here right now is uh, you got Aaron Morant out front, and that's Richard Lane in second, Ebert, Ebert Jacobs in that third spot, and Gene Claxton and Trevor Hunt. And they are underway. He 
Ebert and Hunt have put on quite a race here for that second spot. Ebert gets forced up into the wall there by Richard Lane. Like Brian Montgomery is trying to race with Hunt there for that fifth spot. Now Hunt gets around. Gene Claxton, but Brian Montgomery is going to move up into the sixth spot. Well, Kick, there's been some good racing here this fall. Uh, can you tell me what uh, might have been one of the best races that you saw so far this year here at Valley Speedway? Uh, it was either the first or second week of this October fast. It was uh, Zach Sanders and Luke Feeback, I believe. They ran side by side for, man, I don't know, many laps, but it was a real, real good race to me. Uh, the sprint car driver, <laughs> my brain's not working. Moore, Mitchell Moore. Mitchell Moore. Uh, Mitchell's come on strong here in the last couple of weeks from what I understand. Uh, he's won uh, two sprint features in a row. Yeah, I think he has. I don't know much about him, but uh, he has, I think, yeah, two or three nights that I've been here, he's won a couple of them. So it's, you know. Well, he was the 305 champion down at L.A., but running a 305 down there, and I think the first couple of weeks here at Valley, uh, they ran a 305, but they uh, got a 360 motor together, and since they have, he has won two feature events in a row here at Valley Speedway, but it looks like we're getting ready to go with the B mods. Aaron Morant, still your leader. Richard Lane in second. Ebert Jacobs in third. Gene Claxton fourth. Brian Montgomery up to fifth, let's say, or saying. Montgomery getting in uh, around Gene Claxton now. Moving up, getting around uh, Richard Lane also, it looks like, and going to move into the third spot. Now it looks like him and Richard Lane are hooked together, and they finally get apart. Moran up on that high side. Jacob Ebert looking down low. Going to have a good race here for this first spot, it looks like. Once again, Moran up on the hill. Jacob Ebert down low. And we've got another yellow flag, and it looks like the one... D, I think that's DJ DeMont. Damati. I think DJ Damati, I believe, is who that is. It's going to take them a minute to line up. We'll be back in a little bit. Okay, here we go, folks. Looks like they've got them all lined up. And Aaron Morant, still your leader. Jacob Ebert is going to be in that second spot. Brian Montgomery, third. Looks like Gene Claxton in fourth. Richard Lane, fifth. And Trevor Hunt in sixth. And I believe that's Jake Richards in the black 66. Looks like we're going to go one more time around. Yeah, can we call the leader? Can we call him topside boogeyman Aaron Morant? Yeah. We need to get a nickname for Aaron Morant. you got this B mod out here. Last week, he won with a shock that was, or yeah, a shock that was bound up in the spring. They didn't notice it until after the race was over, and we talked to him in the pits. Let's see what happens here, because Ebert sure is on his tail. Here we go. Got a couple of the young guns in this class back there battling for second is Jacob Ebert and Brian Montgomery, the old veteran out front here, Aaron Moran. And once again, he's already got this lead out to about four to five car lengths down the front straightaway.
Looks like Gene Claxton is going to pull up into that four spot, but we've got a couple of them hung up back here in between turn one and two. That's the other 66. I think that's 66, isn't it? Kale Turner. 66T, Kale yeah. Turner of Jefferson City. Kale Turner, and what is that, 21? Or 22? 22. 22A, Adam Bush. Adam Bush out of Grain Valley, Missouri. Well, I'll tell you what, at Jefferson City, that's a long ways to come. Yeah. You know, uh, it's really uh, interesting to watch this. Boy, Morant has got so much speed off the corner. When they have these restarts, he just pulls away from Ebert and Montgomery when they come out of turn two and out of turn four. Man, he has just got a bunch of forward bite, it looks like. Yeah, Aaron told me last week he's got a little more time to think in this B mod. He says it's actually quite fun instead of standing on the gas all the time. I guess only a driver would know something like that. but. Yeah. Uh, well, they're still clearing them off. We'll be back in just a little bit. Once again, your lineup right now, Aaron Moran in first, Jacob Ebert second, Brian Montgomery third, Gene Claxton fourth, Richard Lane fifth, Trevor Hunt in that sixth place, and Jake Richards in seventh. Jake looks like he's gonna try and make a run there, get around Richard Lane. And I believe he's going to pull it off. And Jake now, if he can hold on to it, right up behind Claxon in that fifth spot. We've got another challenge for the lead here. Looks like Jacob Ebert is going to take that away from Aaron Moran. Looks like something's happened to Aaron Moran. He wants on the infield. Brian Montgomery trying to get around him on the inside. <coughs> and we've got the yellow out. Aaron Morant sets on the infield. Looks like he's done there, kick. Yeah, I'll tell you what. That uh, infield shenanigans there, or whatever you want to call it, from... Montgomery, that was that was something else. Uh, man, I didn't know if that was going to come out very good or not, but yeah. uh, thank God it did. Back here on the uh, front straightaway, we uh, Montgomery was tapping Claxton on the back end. I don't know uh, what was going on there. Uh, just have to wait and see how they realign this, whether or not uh, kind of acts like Montgomery might think he belongs in second place. We'll have to see what happens. We'll be back, folks. Well, I think we're about ready to do it again here after about three or four continuous yellow flags. Jacob Ebert, your leader. Brian Montgomery in second. Gene Claxton third. Jake Richards fourth. Richard Lane fifth. And Hunt sixth. And now up into that seventh spot is Don Mars. Claxton goes to the inside of Montgomery. And Montgomery's going to hang on to it as they come out of four. Once again, Jacob Ebert, your leader. Montgomery now is going to dive down to the bottom side, and something's happened to Brian Montgomery's car, I believe. Looks like a flat. Oh, the axle's all messed up on the back of Brian Montgomery's car. And he's going to have to go on the hook. Your second place runner, Brian Montgomery with some breakage on the car, and he is going to be going to the pits. Well, Don, we were talking about uh, most improved driver or whatever so far this year at Valley. Uh, I did not get out here that much, but uh, this guy leading this racer, Jacob Ebert, 
has, uh, I think, made some big strides this year, run really good down at CMS as well as here at Valley. Yeah, he's getting a little seat time in an A-Mod, so maybe we'll see him later on. I don't know if he's in the A-Mod or not. Ebert gets a good run off of turn four, and once again is your leader. Claxton in the hot pursuit. Richard Lane up on the top. Now Jake Richards up into the fourth spot. Don Mars and Trevor Hunt run for that fifth spot with Mars in control of it right now. And we've thrown the yellow again. Not sure why, but I'm sure somebody has got a reason. We'll be back. And looks like they've turned the lights out. Jacob Ebert brings them down fairly slow down the back straight away into turn three and going to turn them loose here in a little bit. Ebert, Claxton, Lane, Richards, Mars. That's your top five. Got a pumpkin in front of us right now. Had a big old pumpkin in the way, didn't we? Lane gets into the back of Claxton just slightly. Backs out of it, lets him get back into position. Looks like Trevor Hunt and Mars get together and we've got one over the, it looks like the white flag is out and I think they're gonna go, no, they're gonna drop the yellow now. It's the 22 of Adam Bush that went over the embankment there going into turn three. And are they gonna call it a race, Don? Did the checker come out? Yeah, I think the checkered came out, yeah. it's. Must it's, be because the flagman has come down off the straight off the flag stand, and Jacob Ebert sets over there, ready to get the accolades from everybody as he wins this B mod A main here at Valley Speedway on a Saturday night, the last night of racing here in the Kansas City area. Ebert. Ebert ran a very nice race. He just uh, hung in there, even though he wasn't able to uh, get around Morant. But, uh, you know, patience paid off for him. Yep, sure did. Things happen sometimes when you're in the lead, and guy running second gets the lead, and nobody can catch up or get around him. So Jacob Ebert gets the win right here. Once again, as I stated earlier, I'm going to say it again, Ebert has been running some A-Mod races this year and some big ones. I think one, one or two of those big money races down at CMS. And I believe was the points champion at CMS as well in the B-Mod class down there. So Jacob Ebert uh, getting to be one of the guys you got to really look out for, not only in the B-Mod class, but uh, looks like in the future maybe in the A-Mods too. Once again, your winner here at Valley Speedway for the B-Mods on the last race of the year, Jacob Ebert. Okay. All right, folks, here we are at Valley Speedway again for the street stocks. The front row, you got Brian Ziegler, Joshua Stevens, Raymond Lentrell, Fast Lane Engines, Josh Paul, Herb Danner, and Spencer Stevens. Here we go, green, green. Joshua Stevens on the inside of Brian Ziegler. 
Let's see how it works out. They're working about the same here. Fighting for third, we got uh, Herb Danner and Josh Paul. Ziggy's on the outside here. Josh was working the bottom. Oh, got a yellow flag. And it looks like we got a yellow on the speedway. I think Oz or the O2 or whatever that is got turned around down there. Man, heck of a race there for first place between the 65 of Ziggler and the 10 of Stevens. Man, I mean, they are going at it. And second place was not much less. I believe that's the 14 of Josh Paul and the, what, 74 of Herb Danner. Man, those guys were going at it too, Don. This looks like it's going to stack up to being one heck of a race if we just keep the darn thing going. Yeah, well, if this is really Joshua Stevens in this 10 car, which I think it is, because I've seen Anthony Ward, and he's just spectating. That guy in that 10 car, I think, drives the 09 sprint car. Uh, we know how he knows how to get it done. But, you know, Brian, Brian Ziegler, he's been doing this a while, too, and he's got him a pretty good car right there in that 65. And uh, Josh Paul just about won this race last week. But he uh, jumped the cushion down here in one and two, and Ziggy got underneath him. But uh, here we are all stacked up. You got John Brooks, I believe, back there in the 49. Here we go, green. Looks like Ziggler is going to pull out to a small lead. Stevens kind of stumbles down there on the inside, but he gets back on it. And you got Littrell sitting over in the corner here. And Kevin McGinnis down here on the bottom of turn two. Try to get these guys fired up. It's going to take them a little bit to line them up. We'll be back in just a minute. Well, Kick, uh, what do you think about the track conditions here? I mean, is it slick or is it not slick? We've been having a lot of spin-outs here so far in the first two races. Well, I did talk to some of the drivers, and they said it is slick. And that was before the features were even started. So I guess to them it's slick, but here we go. Got Ziggy out in the lead. Here comes Josh. You got two Joshes back here. Uh-oh. We got Herb Danner on the bottom. Got him going three wide. Joshua gets a little sideways. Josh Paul on the outside up against the fence. Three wide. Boy, we got a battle going for second here. These guys are getting at it. Ziggy's just driving off by himself. We got the 14-year-old kid back there in fourth. Spencer Stevens. Ziggy still out front. Joshua Stevens in second. Herb Danner in third. Old man John Brooks in fourth in the Orange 49. Everything's about the same. Ziggy's running the high line. Joshua's running the bottom. Looks like, uh, whoa, we got some sparks. Brakes parks underneath Ziggy's car. That looked kind of neat. Josh was trying to run real tender on the bottom. Almost got him there. Almost got him there. He's, he keeps trying. Let's see what happens here. Got to go side by side here. Same line, kind of high going in, middle 
trouble coming out. Looks like we're pretty steady during the race here. John Brooks is coming up in third. He's trying to work his way up there. John Brooks has been around for a while. John Brooks, he's hanging the tail of uh, Joshua Stevens there for a minute. Oh, he goes up high. Oh, look out. Boy, they about got into it there. Boy, look at John Brooks. He's just driving the wheels off that car. Oh, yeah, old Ziggy doesn't know what's going on behind him. Got that one arm up on the deck on the interior panel. Uh-oh, here we go. We're side by side again. Joshua Stevens on the bottom, Ziggy on top. Boy, Ziggy's just... Oh. Ziggy trying to carry that speed on top, but looks like... I don't know. Uh-oh. Nope, Ziggy still got him up top. Well, we got lap traffic. Here we go. This ought to be exciting. Who's got the preferred line for lap traffic? They go around lap traffic three wide. Well, they're just really fitting them cars in there. Looks like Josh had to get on the brakes a little bit. Kind of gave it back to Ziggy. Josh drops it back to the bottom, trying to get back up with him. Got a tire rolling around, big old farm tire. Well, we're under yellow. Well, that was pretty exciting right there. Had some three wide down there for a little bit. John Brooks back there, trying to get his nose up on all this business. This, what'd, you, what'd you think of that, Mike? This could be a very interesting finish here. <laughs> Because uh, some of that lap traffic hadn't have been in the way, the 10 of Josh Stevens, Joshua Stevens, might have made the pass and made it work. But with the lap traffic, he was just having an extremely hard time. And the 49, John Brooks, has come all the way up from that 10th spot up to third here in this A main for the stock street stocks. Uh, I seen him come in late. Uh, they were lining up the first B mod he race when uh, him and uh, his crew were pulling in. So may have been late getting there, but man, he's up on the money there right now. But man, I'm looking forward to this finish. As soon as they get them lined up, well, we'll be ready to go and we'll be right back. You're up. All right, let's see what the end of this race brings here. Still running about the same. We got Brian Ziegler, and Joshua Stevens, and John Brooks. Here we go, under green again. There's Joshua Stevens on the bottom. John Brooks is looking pretty fast back here in that orange 49. Oh, and he splits him in the middle. John Brooks is trying to make it in the middle. I think he's got this. Oh, and old John, oh, they get hooked together there for a second. John Brooks holds on to it. Gets a little sideways. Old Ziggy's up there, not giving a care in the world. Oh, we got some spinning out here in turn two. Yeah, we got them spun out in turn two down here. Well, we had a little shenanigans there. Guys running into each other. As we say in the racing world, I guess one of them racing deals. We 
got bent quarter panels. We got fenders hanging off, bent hoods. Boy, it's been pretty exciting. I guess this is what the street stock class is all about. John Brooks looking pretty strong, man. He made a heck of a move. There are three wide coming out of turn four as they came down the front straightaway. And man, he managed to get around the 10 car of Joshua Stevens, kind of bent a little sheet metal in the process. Wasn't the prettiest pass in the world, but uh, he did make it. And uh, once again, still, I don't know how many laps we've got left, but man, this is gonna be one interesting finish for this street stock A main here at Valley Speedway for the last night of racing for 2011. We'll be back in just a minute. Well, Kick, it looks like if you want to be competitive in this street stock class here at Valley tonight, man, you got to be from east of here. Yeah, because the leader, he's from uh, Bates City. John Brooks, he's from Warrensburg. And uh, Joshua Stevens from Buckner. So, yeah, I guess you got to be east from here. Well, here we go. Under green. Ziggy, just as smooth as can be. Uh, we're about to plot them up back here. Oh, it's second, third, run into each other for some reason. And of course, we have another yellow flag. Looks like the nose fell off of uh, Joshua Stevens' car. I'd say he's done for the night. Yeah, Joshua Stevens is going in. Whole front nose is ripped off of that. John Brooks is up there. Let's see what's going on with John Brooks. Well, that'll be one for the officials to build. You're on. All right, here we go. We're getting ready to go green again. We got Ziggy in the front. We got Josh Paul second. Spencer Stevens third. Uh, Devin Irvin, the 67. And Shane Dahl in the 50. That's your top five. We're getting ready to go green. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Got Ziggy out front, of course. Here comes old Josh Paul. Running second on the bottom, Spencer Stevens. This is almost a repeat of last week. Josh Paul's trying to get him on the inside. Don't know if it's gonna work right there. Looks like old Josh Paul needs just a little more pull power coming out of the corners, but I think that's checkered right there. Got him. Yep, I believe that one's over. Good run for Ziggy and Josh Paul and Spencer Stevens. Boy, I tell you what, if Ziggy knew what was going on behind him tonight, uh, his car would probably look like the rest of them out there. Uh, Brian Ziegler here with the win for the street stocks at Valley. Uh, I don't know, Mr. Well, Cheeseworks, what do you think of that? As I said earlier, uh, I'm... Uh, Presuming that this body style that Ziggler's running on here is perfectly legal here at Valley. Looks a lot like a lake model <laughs> when you first look at it. And uh, of course, it, may, it looks like it could be some new skin because boy, it sure looks good. It is a nice looking car. But uh, boy, uh, Brian Ziegler got the lead. I think he led uh, green to checkered if I'm not wrong. But a good run for Brian here in the street stock class at Valley Speedway here on a Saturday night. Congratulations to Brian Ziegler, your winner for the street stocks. Okay, folks, it is time for the mighty 600 micro sprints. And here's your lineup. Alex Owen on the pole, Tyler Nelson, David Hartman, and Steve Clancy on that second row. Dwayne Benson. Wyatt Burks, Kyle Mueller, Chad Shields, that's about your first eight or ten. And the green flag is out and we are underway. And 
that looks like the 99 of Alex Owen with David Hartman in that second spot. Alex Owen showing him a way around. David Hartman in that second spot with the 88 of Tyler Nelson in third. And it looks like 48 of Steve Clancy is going to move into that four spot. And now I believe take away third. Steve Clancy up to that third spot. Going to have a ways to go though to get up here into the front. But we've got one hung up on the tire here right now. We're going to have a yellow flag. We must have got in four or five laps at least. Well it looks like, excuse me, the lineup is correct and we are going to go green flag racing again. Boy, as the first three cars really get a jump. The 99 of Alex Owen, still your leader. 87 of David Hartman. And Steve Clancy in that third spot. Like the number 11 of Wyatt Fox is going to race with Clancy now for that fourth place and may get it away. And we've got a yellow flag as we've got one up over the bank down here between one and two. And I think that is the, can't make out whether that's a 20 or a 10. That must be the 20 of Chad Shields. Well, Kick, these little guys are really fun to watch. I don't know about you, but uh, I've always wanted to bring a stopwatch and kind of time these guys and see how they compare. I bet they're as fast as the A-Mods. What do you bet? Well, I don't know, but boy, I'll tell you what, they really dive down in these corners. I'm surprised they don't get upside down the way they bounce through these down in the lower part of the corner. It's just really amazing. Nice tight pack as they come out of turn four. But it looks like Alex Owen is going to jump out to the lead again down that front straightaway. That's David Harvin still in second, and he is going to spin right over there, right in the, almost between three and four, almost coming out of four. But your second place car spins over in turn four. Once again, the yellow slows everybody down and we're in for a realignment we'll be back in a minute we are ready to go again once again we've got owen clancy burks 88 of nelson and the 50 of benson that's your top five as they get ready to come out of turn four and take that green flag Owen gets a good run again and pulls out almost already to about a two or three car length lead as they come out of turn two. And it looks like the 50 of Benson is going to take over that fourth spot from the 88. Benson looks on the inside. Or, I'm sorry, Nelson looks on the inside like he wants to get it back from Benson. But no go. Meanwhile, up front, Alex Owen, still your leader now with about a 10 or 12 car length lead over second place, Steve Clancy. Field now starting to get pretty spread out. Alex Owen still with about 
an eight to 10 car length lead over second place, Steve Flansing. About two or three more laps, the leader Owen is going to be up into the back runners. now with three quarters of a straightaway lead over second place Steve Lansing oh and now up here behind a couple of the back runners see whether he has any trouble they don't know whether he's leading or what he's doing I suppose gets around Mike Trent now he passes the other car. Clancy works his way through the lap cars also. Actually closes to within about seven to eight car lengths of the 99 of Alex Owen. Once again, the leaders get up and encounter a lap car, and that's going to slow Clancy down, or slow Owen down a little. Clancy can't take an advantage, any advantage of it. Now Owen gets around the lap car, now Clancy's going to have to deal with him. White flag comes out for your leader. Owen now with just three quarters of a lap. And it looks like your winner is going to be Alex Owen with Steve Clancy in second. The 11, Wayne Burks, Wyatt Burks, I'm sorry, Dwayne Benson, and I believe Tyler Nelson. I'm going to round out your top five. Ninety-nine. Alex Owen's going to pull it around and into the winner's circle here as he is going to take the A feature here tonight at Valley Speedway for the 600 micro sprints. Well, kick this field kind of got spread out just a little bit, but boy, uh, Owen up front uh, putting on quite a show as he at times had almost a straightaway length lead in this A main here for the 600 micro sprints. Yep, he got her done. He's standing up on the wing over there, celebrating his win. So congratulations to him. Yeah, it's pretty exciting class, actually. I kind of like it. But uh, yeah, they're pretty fast little guys. Once again, your winner here for the 600 micro sprints here at Valley Speedway on the last night of 2011 for the racing season here in the Kansas City area is going to be Alex Owen from Shawnee, Kansas.